Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be on planet Earth. Good day, hello, and welcome back to Seven Days and another base build video. I hope you guys enjoy this one. We're not going to mess around too much. We're just going to get straight into it. Okay, so I've been doing some looking around lately on um, on on YouTube, as I do, watching my uh, watching the usual suspects. Um, shout out to Jawoodle, Porsche Pancake, and something made me think about this um, this rule of eleven, which Porsche Pancake um, has discovered that if zombies take full damage, eleven blocks away from where you are. They don't go into rage mode. And that got me thinking, does that 11 block thing work on the vertical? So I decided to test it. And uh, and this is what I discovered. Yes, it does work in the vertical as well. So it is perfectly possible to make a melee slash um, horde base completely out of wood as well, at least for the early game hordes, and have it be completely intact. So we're going to show you just how to build it. So what you need to do, okay, what you need to do is you need to start, you need to go 11 blocks up, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, then the 12th block needs to be your platform. So the place where the zombies fall is 11 blocks. I mean, you could go a little higher if you wanted to, or you could make this whole thing lower and dig a pit into the ground, but for the purposes of this, of this video, this is uh this this is what we're gonna do. So that's your platform. We're gonna make that just a smidgen, a smidgen bigger. Okay, so that is our starting fighting position. We're obviously gonna put some ladders and stuff on this as well. But that is 12 blocks high. It's so 11 blocks of columns, and then the top bit is at is at 12 blocks. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go 11 blocks away from the front. And we, then we're just going to rinse and repeat. And we're going to go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. The 12th block goes up there. Here is where we make our staircase for the zombies to get up to us. Okay, so there's our staircase. You can leave it as blocks if you want. But if you want the zombies to get up there quicker, obviously you can turn this into stairs. There is also the possibility that you could actually just make the the access point for the zombies a completely flat pillar and just do ladders the reason for that is is that the and this is this is a 99% anti rage base there is something that happens with the zombie pathing where if the zombies get stuck behind or in a queue of other zombies they still go into rage mode. Now, this seems to happen a lot on stairs. It doesn't seem to happen so much with ladders. If you give them enough, if you give if you gave them enough access points for ladders, so if you were to do like a three block wide section here, all the way to the top, and then you were to put ladders on this side, and then ladders on this side, and then three sets of ladders on this side. It gives them an access point to get up there where they don't rage. But for, again, for the purposes of this, of this video and to make it m make it simple, we're going to go with the tried and trusted staircase. And now we've got to do the magic part. Now, this is the bit where you need to be careful. Because we're building out of wood. The wood doesn't have the same level of horizontal structural stability as stone does. So you need to be careful. You can only build out a certain way. Now, obviously, I'm using God mode. You can do this without God mode. You just need to be careful. You may need to make some nerd poles up there to place the blocks or just walk across the top block. But walk very carefully so as not to fall off. But it can be done. Trust me, it can be done. This is where the magic of the loop, the AFK looping part comes in. Okay, and it's our tried and trusted friends, the 60-degree wedge tips. You may have seen me do this in a previous video. But the orientation for the wedge tip seems to work like that. Now, normally you do it the other way around, which also works, but it's, it tends to close the gap between the path and the zombies um, a little more, and it, they have a tendency to jump. 
But if you do this, that is now completely supported. As you can see, I can attach stuff to the side there, and the block is the block is white. There's no yellow or pink there, and the zombies can walk across it. And that, effectively, that's it. That's the whole thing. All we're going to do now, just for a little bit of a, a little bit of added security, is we're just going to build us up a little box. Spikes on the roof to defend us from vultures. A door on the back. Some ladders to get up. Again, standard practice. Go all the way down, but leave yourself a one, two block gap at the bottom. So you can jump up and get in there, but the zombies can't. And then our fighting position, which is our tried and trusted god block bars or um, scaffolding blocks. I've had this question asked in my previous base building video as well, so what these blocks are called. This is what you're looking for, for the shape. It's right here. I have it in my favorites up here or in my basic scaffolding ladder. That's all it is. Yeah, it's in construction. So it's either in construction or in your basic blocks there. And you have the scaffolding ladder. That's our fighting position. That's going to keep us safe and sound from zombies, except for cops. Those are the ones that you're going to have to do something about. This, this base does not defend against ranged attacks. And this, again, is where you can turn this from a melee base into an AFK base, okay? You put your door there, you orient it that way, it won't go any other way, but the zombies don't, they don't walk across the door frame. They still see it as a path, and they will still loop, but they, will, they don't walk across the door frame. And then you can open and close this from inside here. You can open and close this as you wish. So you can have it here, and then you have your melee weapon of choice, whatever that may be. You can beat the zombies up there. When the zombies are all gathered up at the front and it all gets a little bit hairy for you, just open the door, let them fall down, clear off the stragglers, and then turn it back into a loop. And there we have it. We have a wooden, completely made out of wood, which can AFK up to a point. You need to be careful because, again, when the zombies get congested over here, they do, they do get congested and go into rage mode. And then they kind of, they get like halfway up the stairs and then they stop and they start swinging. But they don't hit the steps. They seem to hit this block. They don't hit the steps. They seem to hit these blocks here. And it kind of knocks out the middle section there. It's really weird behavior. I have no idea why it is the way that it is. But that's it. We have spikes on the roof to defend us from vultures. We have a fighting position inside. We have a looping base. And we also have a melee fighting position. So we can either melee them if we want. Or we can clear up stragglers. And that is it so we are at game stage 73 we have 611 enemy kills and we are at level 40 because from the previous base building video i gave myself a million xp plus the xp that i've gained so far from from killing zombies in testing and stuff like that so we're we're at a reasonably high level we're going to back it up to day 21 because that was the last blood moon that i used for testing and we're going to run a horde night and um and we're going to see what happens Trader Bob is now closed. All right, we've got three minutes to go till the start of the Blood Moon. Uh, we have got our debug um, targets on. And what we'll do is we'll just uh, we'll just pop ourselves out so we can go and have a look. So that's where we're standing. We're standing up there. Here we can see all the zombies coming in. Okay, nobody's going after the, nobody's going after the beams. Okay, straight round to the stairs. Up the stairs they go. Now, occasionally, this is why this is only 99% AFK. Occasionally, the zombies will jump over that block. But then we head down here, and we can see no destroy area mode. We get can break, we get stun, we get move, we get approach and attack target, but we get no... Oh, crap, we got a cop. We got a cop. Where's... I didn't see the... I warned about the cop, didn't I? There we go. Let's get rid of the cop. That guy you're going to have to shoot. You can't AFK this with coppers around. And obviously the higher the, the, uh, the, higher the difficulty level, the, um, the more damage a cop will do when it spits. Um, we're, we're, on the default, we're on the default difficulty level, so uh, the, uh, the cops don't do a huge amount of damage. And now we can see here, see where they got st he got stuck and he went into rage mode? I know it is kind of hard to see. I wonder if I can... Um, there we go. Let's put that one over there. And... Do the same there. 
And just for, again, oh, hang on a minute. Let's uh, let's get rid of that guy there because he made it across the, uh, he made it across the, the, the thing. So like I said, see, look, they do, they do this weird rage thing. I don't know why they do this. They just, they, they, they stop. And I don't know why they're digging. They do some, they do some very funky behavior sometimes. It's, I mean, there isn't, there isn't anything I can do about the way the zombie AI is coded, unfortunately. But um, there we go. We can see that as well. Now, why they're digging here, I don't know. That's being, that's being super weird. They never did this before. They know, see, look, they, they, he was in destroy area. Now he's not in destroy area and he stopped. But the rest of them are working just fine. But every now and then you get them. They just go into that weird destroy area thing. And they just start randomly stopping and digging and doing other stuff. And you see where the damage is. See, see the dam the damage is here. So they're not they're not going into destroy area from the fall, but they're going into destroy area from somewhere else where they get stuck. But again, if we go back down if we go back down the bottom here, in fact, I wonder if I can get away with putting a uh, if I can put a lantern over there and put one over there. Oh, let's get rid of those guys. They made it across. But yeah, they, they stop and they dig when they get stuck. See, look, now this guy. This guy's gone into destroy area mode for absolutely no reason at all. But he's not damaging the stairs. He's actually doing damage to blocks down here. It's, it's really peculiar behavior. I don't know what causes it. But the whole point of this is, see, look, they've knocked out that block there. I don't, know, I don't know how they're doing that. I don't know how they're hitting that block. It's like they're hitting up here, and it's like some sort of percussive shock that travels down here. It's bizarre. But the point of this is, is that when they land, they land right down here, but they don't go into destroy area mode here. So, yeah, all we got to do is just keep an eye out on the guys coming. See that weird guy over there? He's in destroy area mode as well. They eventually stop, and they do come up. That party girl... I think she's gone into... She, yeah, see, look, they, they've gone into destroy area mode over there as well. And again, I don't know why they do this. It's honestly really weird. It seems to be when they get all bunched up that they do that weird destroy area mode thing. But anyway, let me demonstrate the melee part of this base. So what we do is we close that. They come up to the bars, and then we can just... We can melee. He seems to be going off to the side and digging. I don't know why he's doing that as well. That's that's super weird. Why are you do why are you over there and digging? You're in destroy area mode as well. But yeah, we can we can we can stand here and we can we can we can melee away. But if it all starts getting a little bit much, we can just open that. And restart the loop. And then we can close it again. When we're all uh, we're, we're, we're all recovered and we're all healthy and we've got all our stamina back and everything else. Bye bye doggy. Yeah, you're going mate. You're not staying. And again, we're back to the loop again. Back to the melee again. Back to the loop again. And we can just chop and change that all night long. And there we are. Morning has broken. So we're just going to clear up a few of the stragglers. Trader Bob is now open. Come on, guys. You can make it. See, they've all reverted to their normal walking speed now, which makes it a little bit calmer. As long as there aren't any ferals in the mix, we should be absolutely fine. I did hear a couple more blocks breaking throughout the night. You can see our front bars here have taken a wee bit of a hammering. But, nonetheless, the base is still standing. We're still standing. And most of the zombies are dead. And there we are. So you can see we had a little bit of a we had a little bit of that weird destroy area mode damage when they stopped and they were hitting blocks up here and they seemed to do like some kind of weird percussive damage down here. So the caveat 
the 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 take the takeaway from this is is that yes, it can be done. <laughs> yes, it can be done. But no, it probably shouldn't be done. You should probably make this out of the strongest building materials that you possibly can. At the very least, in the early game, you're going to have access to cobblestone relatively early, and that's the uh, that's the the um that's the first proper stone material that you can upgrade to. So that is recommended. But nonetheless, even with these blocks missing, it's still standing. The zombies still path. And we were still able to complete a Horde Knight on day 21 at level 40. Which, if you're at level 40 by day 21, then you've been playing on some, some crazy high XP games. Or you're, um, you're just exceptionally good at the game. Way better at the game than I am, probably. But there we go. One Horde base that stood up to a level 40 day 21 Horde. Made entirely out of wood. So, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We're going to call it there. I hope you found this informative. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you found some hints and tips and stuff that you can take away from this. A huge shout out to Cautious Pancake for doing the science about the 11 plus rule for the blocks. And another huge shout out to Shawoodle for the original concept of the killing corridor. Obviously, there are many different ways you can do this, but this is the most basic thing that you could do. Um, and as you can see, it works. Okay, ladies and gents, all that is left for me to say is once again is thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you've enjoyed the content, then please be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button too. Turn on notifications for any and all notifications about all uploads we do. We currently have a mega city Let's Play series going strong right now. We're on about day 15 at the time of this, um, time of this recording. So please go check that out as well. So all that is left for me to say, ladies and gentlemen, is thank you very much for watching. And until next time, remember, be good. If you can't be good, be good at it. I was Hell's Janitor. This was Seven Days to Die. You guys were awesome for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll hopefully catch you guys in the next episode. But until then, it's a goodbye from me.